All right, uh, good morning. It is Monday, August uh, the 26th, 2024. I uh, hope everyone had a nice weekend. It was a little bit cooler here in Charleston the last couple days, which, which was nice. Um, you know, our family had, had um, I, I was gonna say a quiet weekend, but, but oh, obviously with three young kids in the house, you know, a more relatively quiet weekend is probably a better way to say it. Uh, but but really nice. We, we were outside a lot, you know, kind of baseball in the yard. Um, you know, the uh, soccer season started, so so I'm coaching Keegan soccer again this fall. I'm sure you'll be receiving some updates uh, throughout throughout the season here. So we had that first practice, and um, yeah, just 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 a really nice, uh, relatively quiet weekend. So we hope you did as well. Uh, this morning we start fall reviews. Uh, little less than an hour from now uh, and, and you know, as we've been saying the last handful of weeks in, in preparation uh, we just we, we, we just love this time of year uh, catching up with with many of you and and you know, summer updates uh, learning of new ways we, we, we might be able to help uh, so yeah the, the, the next you know call it month and a half we are really really looking forward to so so that's great Next little bullet point I have in my notebook here, just be on the lookout for fraudulent emails, okay? Like, you know, a firm like ours and any other advisory firm, like we, we receive fraudulent emails every day, right? So, so, so you know, we've become uh, you know, very used to being able to identify, uh, you know, fake emails and so forth, but just wanted to bring one up. My dad received one uh, last week. So, so, you know, it said, obviously it's going to his email address, and it said it was from a Johan Kroll, and and Johan Kroll uh, was asking my father to you know go buy some digital gift cards, which is a very common fraud. Go buy some digital gift cards because I needed to um, you know give them to, to clients, and I would pay him back. Well, again, very common fraud. Obviously, he clicked the the Johan Kroll part of the email, noticed it it was a an email address that, that obviously wasn't me. You know, it was like an, an Xfinity uh, email address, which, which of course we don't use, but um, you know, just, just, just having it that close to home and a, you know, an email like that going to my dad. Obviously someone had done their, their research know, knowing that yeah, I was managing an investment firm. And um, so, so you know, j just a heads up. Yeah, I thought it was a good opportunity just to you know, be on your toes. You know, the, the criminals are becoming more and more creative. Um, and so, yeah, just, just be, be really careful with, with emails and, and phishing attacks and things like that. All right, uh, last week, uh, another kind of nice week for, for, for equity markets, pre pretty much around the globe. Uh, it, it was a relatively quiet week until, um, you know, the, the, the Fed meeting in, um, uh, on Friday. Right? So just some of the Jackson Hole commentary where you know Chairman Powell comes out and says it's time to start cutting rates, right? And and, and everyone kind of knew that j just from the data we had received in, in previous weeks and months. But it was definitely the most dovish uh, he has sounded uh, in this interest rate cycle. Uh, most notably, uh, my biggest takeaway was uh, he he had mentioned the balance of the risks has changed. Okay, so, so what that means is in the Fed's eyes, and maybe I need to back up, the Fed has what's called a dual mandate. Okay, so a dual mandate, and really the, the only things they're supposed to base monetary policy on, and this is up to debate if, if, they, if they actually do this or not, but what they're supposed to, they have this dual mandate of controlling inflation and employment, right? So those are the only two things they're really supposed to keep an eye on. Okay, so when, when Chairman Powell says the balance of the risks has changed, what that implies is that from the Fed's view, they see the risk of deteriorating uh, the, the employment picture with some of the soft data we've seen in terms of jobless claims ticking up, uh, the, the, the unemployment rate ticking up in recent months. They see that as a larger risk now than uh, the inflation. Okay, so, so they're more concerned about uh, the employment picture becoming worse than inflation, you know, creeping back higher. So that, that's what he means in terms of the balance of the risks has changed. Uh, so we'll see. But but obviously, equity markets uh, they, they like that commentary, right? Anytime 
uh, rates are coming down, it, it makes it easier for businesses to invest in new projects at a profitable, uh, at a profitable rate. So uh, yeah, re really nice day on Friday. You, know, you saw small caps up over 3%, uh, r really just a rally across the board. So this week, uh, you know, gross domestic product, we re uh, received GDP as well as uh, some additional inflation data. So uh, we, we hope everyone has a nice week. Again, looking forward to seeing many of you in the weeks ahead here. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to, to reach out to us and we will see you guys soon. Thank you.